Let's record. Yes. Welcome everybody to this um, free evening. How is your access business doing? Um, we have a bunch of Russian people who are uh, actually translating this call. Uh, bonjour, Sarah. And so we might be getting some Russian questions so that you understand why is that happening. Um, and otherwise, this evening is just totally open and free for you to look at your access business for us to look at your access business and um truly to see what's possible what's happening what's up what are your questions uh what would you like more clarity on um so it's kind of your party so <laughs> maybe i will start with everything you have decided that your access business is will you destroy it and create it Hey, Niels, right and wrong, good and bad, fuck and pod, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And everything you are waiting for your access business to become, we destroy and create all that too. Right and wrong, good and bad, fuck and pod, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And I, um, I on purpose called the evening, how is your access business doing? And not how is your business doing? Because I get that. Um, many of us who are doing access and are who are creating classes or sessions, there is something that the energy of access consciousness is. There is, it is an energy in the universe. And what can we be to receive from that organism? And what can we be to contribute to that organism? And everything that doesn't allow that can be destroyed and created, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And so what have you decided that access consciousness is? Meow. Can we destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pock, shorts, boys and beyonds. And what are your expectations? What are your conclusions, your projections, your decisions around access consciousness and your access business? And can we destroy and create all of that too, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine pot, book shorts, boys and beyonds. Ooh, it's hot in here and it's getting hotter with the conversation. <laughs> so um, having opened it up, any expectations you have about, about this call? Can we destroy and create it too, since we're at it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine pot, book shorts, boys and beyonds. Everything you've decided you must get tonight and everything you've decided you will surely miss, can we destroy and create all that too? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine pot, book shorts, boys and beyonds. What conversation can we have together where we actually start to function from the space of true choice and question and of possibilities and tapping into something that goes beyond business of this reality? And everything that doesn't allow that can be destroyed and created, please. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, book, book, shorts, boys and beyonds. Hook, cool. Does anybody want to start? Who's the brave one to be the first one <laughs> to ask me a question? Who is the brave one? Nature. I'm brave. <laughs> too brave, even. I heard two voices. From Russia, one voice. Yes, go for it. Uh, I want to know uh, how to... I'm hearing the Russian Zoom, babe. You have to mute the Russian Zoom. That's why I'm like, who's the other voice? Oh, yeah. Mm, sorry. Entities are talking in your body. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, I want to know how to create people and how to invite people and to be invitation for people that uh, we will come to class beautiful question um i'm sure more people might have this question so what is it that you got excited by when you started access when you went to your first session or you went to your first class what energy got you to choose something with access and just take a moment to tap into that what is that what is that undefinable energy that you were like hmm and some of you might have been like i have no fucking clue what it is but i have nothing to do i'm gonna go to the class or to the session and some of you might have been like this one i'm going well whatever that is what is it that you became aware of and just tap into that 
And what is it that you can be around that in your way to invite other people? For me, it was like, oh my God, I'm not crazy. Or at least they're more crazy people. Because whatever I heard was like, I always thought that much of it was like, yes, 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 yes. I recognize something. And there was this, oh my God, there is a hope for more. There is truly what I've always known is possible. Seems to be actually available. What is that for you? And that will be different for each person. And there's no right way about it, right? But whatever that energy is that got you excited about access, what has that created in you? And where can you be that? Not to prove how excited and amazing, happy you are about access, but truly that energy that turns you on about access. And are you willing to invite people from that space? Everything that doesn't allow it can we destroy and create that. Hey, Alan, right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. It's so hot here. Oh my God. And, uh, and everywhere you think you have to do something to get people to come to your class as a first thing, can we destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine pot, pot, shorts, boys and beyonds. What is it that excites you about whatever it is that you're inviting people to? And so this is where I get that the access business is also different because if you're doing it to pay your rent, you're going to be a very different invitation than if you're doing it because the bars are fucking out of control. Awesome. And you need to learn to put your fingers on the head and change everybody's world. And you will be whatever I'm being. That's my style. <laughs> but whatever that is, can we all allow ourselves to actually have that and access that? Because how often were you excited about stuff? Or were you just thrilled about something? No words, just wah! And everybody's like, okay, she's on it again. Can you please stop? It's a, where's the volume? And you've always learned to dim it down and turn down the volume and kind of, Put it in this reality because only then can it be acceptable. And everything this is can be destroyed and uncreated. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine pot, box, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And I truly believe that, or I would actually say, I truly know that when that unbridled, that unpolished energy, that's what excites. But we have learned to like, no, 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 because it's business. So like I have to wear my business outfit and I have to speak the business words and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, well, then by the time you start, you're already fucking bored. And everything that is can kind of destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pork, shorts, boys and meals. Or perhaps worse is that you're judging yourself so much because am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Oh no, I used the wrong sentence. And maybe I should have done another clearing, blah, 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 blah that you're just judging yourself out of your own business. So how many judgments are you using woo, to judge yourself out of your own business are you choosing? And can we please destroy and uncreate it? <sighs> right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And I will also say everywhere we have used the way access business should be as a reference point, can we destroy and uncreate all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, pot, shorts, boys, and meals. Everywhere we are creating access reality. Do you guys know what I mean? Can we destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, pot, shorts, boys, and meals. And everywhere we are basically projecting this reality on access and doing this reality with access, can we revoke, recant, rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate all of that? Whew. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, pot, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So if you actually truly allow yourself to have fun with this business, and so yes, it's not really business in this reality perhaps, but who gives a fuck? And if you actually really tap into that energy that turns you on about access, what invitation can you be? And I mean, there's so many things I wanna say, but like where have we learned that we have to convince people Right? Like, because Elena, you beautifully said, like, what do I have to do to make people come? It's like, where's my gun so I can get them into my class? Everything that is, can we destroy and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, pot, shorts, boys, and beyonds. My license to have fun. Exactly. And truly, 
Everywhere we have learned that business is serious, can we destroy it and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pork, shores, boys, and men's. And I'm sure many of you have heard this. The Joy of Business talks about it all the time. And yet it is such a very deep grounded point of view, like, oh, it's serious. It has to be in a certain way for it to be business. And what if that is just not true? Right? And so everywhere you are so much busy to do it right in the access way that you're still not having fun can we destroy and uncreate it <sighs> right wrong good bad all nine pop shorts boys and millions and how many judgments projections expectations reference points are you using to do it the right access way are you choosing and can we destroy and uncreate all that Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pot, fox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And this is really where it's like, hey, access is, the tools are there to live. Access is living. Access is, you're accessing your consciousness and you're living the tools. And everywhere we have created a distance between us and access, between us and the tools, can we destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, bought, book, shorts, boys and beyonds. And how many jails are you using to create the dominance of E equals MC squared to create and maintain a comfortable distance between and you and axis are you choosing? And everything this is, can we destroy and uncreate that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, bought, book, shorts, boys and beyonds. It's not being axis change the world. It's being you change the world. And everything that brings up right and wrong, good and bad, fuck and pot, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And so this is, this is really an invitation for us to just relook at all this stuff that is maybe very hidden and very refined that we don't realize it. So how many refined judgments are you using to create the right access business are you choosing? And can we please destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, pot, shorts, boys and beyonds. Cool. How's that, Elena? Never giving up, found you at last. <laughs> Yay! It's great. Cool. Like a bomb. Like a bomb. Awesome. And so, this is also like when, what I, I want to just expound on the part when I said, what if we don't have to convince people and where's my gun kind of thing? Like how often do you feel that you have to convince and like, I have to find a greater graphic and I have to make a cooler post and I have to like, what, what is that that we've learned that we need to sell that if we wouldn't have to sell it would actually become much easier. And everything that is, can we destroy and uncreate it, please. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, rock, shorts, boys and beyonds. What if we don't have to convince anybody anything? <sighs> Would that be easier and more fun? I'm already getting more relaxed. Like, I don't have to convince anybody. Like, what if you don't have to convince people that whatever it is that you're inviting them to is worthy of it and is worthwhile and is valuable? And everything this brings up, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine pot, pot, shorts, boys and meals. If you're trying to convince a lover to have sex with you, is that very charming? Or is that a bit meh, meh, meh? And that might be something that we're doing. We're like, it's really cool. Look how cool it is. Did you see my boobs? And blah, 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 blah. Instead of like, oh my God, it's so amazing. You should come and you walk away. Like, are you willing actually to be a totally non this reality with your access activities? And everything that doesn't allow that, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, pot, shorts, boys, and meals. And everywhere you've learned that you have to convince people the value of whatever it is that you're selling, can we destroy and uncreate all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, pot, shorts, boys, and meals. And so if you didn't have anything to sell, and if you didn't have anybody to convince, what true invitation and what true seduction could you be? And everything that brings up, let's destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, book, book, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And are you willing to relook at whatever it is that you're offering? It might be bar sessions, it might be bars classes, it might be foundation classes, it might be body process sessions, whatever it is. Are you willing to have a look at it, again at it 
and truly look at if you are acknowledging the value of it. Do you guys know what I mean? Like truly like tap into like, hey, am I getting lost in some sales pitch and filling my classes and kind of just like going back to putting your, you know, from fifth to first or second gear and be like, hey, what is it that this is? And where have I not yet acknowledged the value of it? And where am I still also convincing others because I have to convince myself and everything? This is can be destroyed and created. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, what book, shorts, poisonous. Exactly, Sophie. She says, awesome, nothing to prove. I want that more and more. Sophie didn't speak French like a year ago, uh, English like a year ago. And Sophie's like writing in English. Motherfucking awesome. Yay. So this is really where are you then in that questioning also willing to acknowledge who you are? And with that, I mean, everywhere we think we're frauds and somebody's going to find out that we don't know anything. Can we just try and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, but book shorts, poisonous. Oh my God, there's another facilitator in the class. If she sees where I put my finger, she might know that I don't know the bars properly. Or if she hears my explanation of the distractor implants, she'll probably like find out I'm a fake. Everything that is, can we destroy and uncreate it? <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, fuck, shorts, boys and beyonds. And obviously this is not necessarily relevant for everybody, but it's a very humanoid thing that we're somewhere like, oh, not willing to completely acknowledge and more leaning towards judging ourselves. And this is what people will smell. If you're like, I have a really, I'm really, I have a really cool class. It's really cool. I might suck, but it's really cool. The manual is awesome. <laughs> everything that is can be destroyed and created <laughs> right wrong good bad all night but book shorts boys and beyonds and so truly like whatever that is just for yourself like what is it that you have as a point of view about yourself as a facilitator as yourself as a practitioner that you can actually really look at and examine and start to let go of any judgments because judgments are y yucky they're not fun not fun for you, not fun for anybody. And like I said, people will, will, will sense that other energy. Okay, cool. And in, I haven't, I will read, read in a bit. And also this is where we, have see, we might see like, you know, sometimes you open Facebook and you're like, dude, I'm just gonna close it again. Cause like everybody's like stuffing their stuff on it and like pushing their energy. So everywhere we've learned that the only way you can fill your classes or fill your schedule with sessions is to push energy. Can we please revoke, recant, listen, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and create all of that times a zillion. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, but fuck shorts, boys and neons. In a room where everybody's screaming and you're going to talk very softly, people will have to turn their heads to see what you're saying. Are you willing to be that other energy? where you don't have to force, where you don't have to shout, where you don't have to prove and everything that doesn't allow it. Can we destroy and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, pot, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, I'm going to be good and read your comments now. Apparently, I couldn't do that at the same time. Uh, uh, how, how about most of people I've given a bars and some tools and they go away very happy but not coming back. Don't get it. Then I get... I doubt about my business. This is nothing to do with you. This is really nothing to do with you. Everywhere you make that personal, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, bought book, shorts, boys and girls. What is it that they're willing to receive? Are they willing to receive more? Or are they already like, dude, one bar session, you already changed my life way too much, stop. So what if that is not you and anywhere you go anywhere you go to doubt is a distractor implant so it feels like you can't handle it and you're impotent while you're saying oh i guess not and how fucking great are you that they don't need to come back imagine a doctor that he's like she's not sick again shit i don't have any any clients what what did i do wrong she's not sick anymore shit i suck Everything that is, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, what, fuck, shorts, boys and beyonds. What if we don't need people to come back? There's 7 billion people on the planet. Everything that is, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, what, fuck, shorts, boys and beyonds. 
as Ensilina says, uh, I'm thrilled when they don't come back because it annoys me when they stop choosing more. Well, everything that is can be destroyed and created. <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, all night, but for sure, boys and beyonds. Ba, 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 ba. Um, I'm going to just read Ruth and then I'm going to go to Nina. Kalpana, lovely. What about being a weirdo with business? <laughs> the more access I do, the weirder I be. The more of my freak comes out and the stranger it is to be doing business. What else is possible with that around how I function? This could be so fun. Okay. Um, <laughs> so what is it that you've decided doing business is? And can you destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pot, box, shorts, boys and beyonds. I would personally say like if you tap into the thing that I spoke about, like what is it that you're excited about that you're presenting to people? What, it is, what is it for you that's turning you on around access? And then you need to do whatever you do, just like a prostitute. She can't be like, I'm a prostitute. Why aren't you coming? You need to turn on the red light so everybody knows, oh, that's the room where she is. So what is it that you've decided about yourself that's too weird that you can do business instead of surprising everybody's ass and everything that doesn't allow that will really destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, but book shorts, boys and beyonds. And everywhere you, you're using that as a justification. Aha, uh -huh. can we destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, but book shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay, cool. Nina, you want to go? Nina. Yeah, I'm here without a yes. camera. Hello, phenomenal you, thank you. Hey. Okay, so I'm having my first bars class tomorrow. Which is, yes, which is in Zagreb and people are really, really so into that. They're so happy. And I have uh, during the weekend, the another bars class in Belgrade. Though it happened to be nothing is happening that I'm creating it with somebody. And in, um, it's a little bit different. People are gathering in a different way. It's completely different energy than tomorrow. And it's... Mm -hmm. Legit, yes. What I want to ask uh, around that, and I'm sure you'll perceive things. We can, it can like broaden the things around. It's just that um, in the last two or three days, Kalpana, I didn't like. I received so many judgments from the people I know and I don't know. I received so many text messages like, "Oh, you are so like this or like that, whatever." Like any of my relationships or other businesses or other things, something is definitely going on i've been asking i want to check with you like since something is initiating or happening for the first time in two bars class in like few days and just yeah it's just so so it's a hardcore if i wouldn't have access i would be fucking crazy like what is going on here if you wouldn't know access you wouldn't have a bars class tomorrow so definitely <laughs> So what what is the what is your question? Is it like the judgments or is it No, is it it is like when you do classes, the energies are of course something is shifting. It it's not it, it's not like a, about making it a super significant or a big deal, but something is going on. Like definitely something is going on to have so many judgments as I didn't have in a year. Yeah, so, so it, you know. So if you're not waiting to receive judgment, it's really hard to be successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everywhere we have learned that there's only a certain level of judgment we can handle. And after that, we have to go to shut down. Can we destroy and uncreate it? Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all my pot, box, shorts, boys, and meals. If people are judging you, honey, you're doing something right. Yeah. You're like, oh, thanks for the clarity. Something's working. Apparently something's occurring. And so awesome that you're just staying present. And we're like, okay, you guys are having, have fun making me money. Yeah. Yeah. They're making you money. Have fun. You don't have to do anything. You just have to create a bars class. And apparently they're going bananas. How powerful are you? Yeah. And how does it get better? Yeah. Like truly judgments are just a point of view. Somebody yeah. thinks it's cool. Somebody thinks it's awful. It has nothing to do with nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just, yeah. These are judgments, but also two, two relationships broke like totally, which is okay. And one business is like, really something is going on, even with the legalities and everything. So s things are shaking. Yeah, and I get it. And it's your first class. And I would say like, what, what are these classes changing already for yeah. you, for others, for the country, for the planet? And will you acknowledge that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and everything that doesn't allow that right, wrong, good, bad, all night, board, book, shorts, boys, meals. And guys, this is what makes access so different. Like when we do an access class, we are changing the future. We're changing the planet. We're changing the universe. And this makes it not to be like, oh my God, significant. But it's more like, holy fuck balls. This is pretty cool, awesome, potent shit that we're doing. Just acknowledge it. So Nina, I would just say, go have fun. And like every class will be different and it's in a different place. And it's just every class will be different. Like every time you have sex is hopefully different too. So it's like, yeah, right. So tomorrow will be different and Saturday will be different. Ask for the energies of that class, whatever that class desires from you. What does that class desire from you? It will be different than what the Saturday class might desire from you. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have so much fun. Thank you. What else is possible now? Thanks. Thank you so much. Cool. Um, Elena says, does it matter if the facilitator or host energy sells the class and what to do when the host sells much better? <laughs> um, well, the thing is that everybody's different. Everybody has their own energy. You just want to have clarity that whatever the host is being is a contribution and it's not from judgment and it's matching the energy of whatever you desire to create in the world. If you're like, if you are desiring to create somebody and the other person is like, you're an asshole. If you don't come to her class, that might not be what you want to create, obviously. So you just want to ma see if that matches. I'm not sure if I totally get your question, but Elena is blocked. So she might come back. I will just look at Karinka's question. Karinka saying, I have an issue with asking money and work better for free. Ha! <laughs> Everything that is, can we destroy it and create it? Stop being such a humanoid. Right, wrong, good, bad, all name, but book shorts, boys and meals. So if you work better for free, pretend you're not making money. Oh, that's a good one. Pick yourself. And, <laughs> and what is it that you've decided is more honorable about working for free? Um... It's not something I'm doing conscious. It's yeah, more but something a point of view about it. What is what makes working for free better than working for money? I've got the feeling I'm freer than or something. So will you destroy and uncreate all that? Yes, please. Right, wrong, good, bad, all network, book shorts, boys and meals. Everywhere you feel that because there's money involved, you will be obliged. Mm. And you don't want to be obliged. No, you will you destroy and uncreate it. Thank you. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine shorts, boys and meals. If somebody asks you, Karinka is an amazing inter interior designer. So if somebody is asking you to design something, in the end of the day, you're going to design what you're going to design. And they mm -hmm. might like it, they might not like it. Okay? There's plenty of, of people that will like it, and there might be people who don't like it. Why have you made money the thing about it? That is a good question. <laughs> Where is the sign on create all that? Yes, please. Right, wrong, good, bad, all name, but book, shorts, boys, and meals. And everywhere you prefer to be free and poor instead of powerful, free, and rich, well, you just ah. create all that. Yes, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys, and beyonds. Everywhere you've learned that money is a prisoner, prison, imprisoner, hmm, will you destroy and create all that? Yeah. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys, and beyonds. Cool. Better, thank you. Awesome. How to ask a client for sessions? I like to do sessions and body processes, and there are good reviews. I want to expand the amount of clients. What to do? Invite people, tell people, hey, you want to have a session? I'm here. Put an ad, uh, make a Facebook post, invite people. Actually, it's very simple. Just invite people. Is that matching? Is that, if I understand the question, that's all that's required. Just ask. Invite people, tell them, hey, by the way, if you know somebody, so Gary's tip is an awesome one. You don't ask people themselves. You ask them if they know somebody. Hey, do you know, if you know somebody who like desires more space in their head or more relaxation or free, uh, more possibilities with their body or more comfort with their body, let them know because I give sessions and don't tell them that they should come. And they'll be like, why? But I might be interested. They will be interested more then than if you go like, do you want to come to my sessions? They're like, no. <laughs> so ask them for advice, ask them to tell people. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm always a little bit excited about bars and body presses, but I think nobody gets anything. Hmm? Well, that's just you judging you, Fatima, just trying to create all that. Like they will get what they get. If, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if somebody's making a, like the, the chef is making a pizza 
he knows the value of the pizza. Do you know the value of bars and body processes? And everything that doesn't allow this for you to destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, bot, box, shorts, boys, and girls. And just like Francoise, who was saying, like, oh, some people don't come back. Like, them getting it or not getting it is not your problem in a way. Everything this brings up, can we destroy and uncreate it? Wow. Okay, cool. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, bot, box, shorts, boys, and girls. Everywhere you guys feel responsible for your clients. Oh, can we destroy and uncreate all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, box, shorts, boys and beyonds. And so everywhere you're invested in them getting what you know they could get and thereby you're actually limiting what they get, can we destroy and uncreate all that? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, this is really like create and let it go. Let the bird fly. And that person is going to get what they get. And it's really up to, you know, the more we have no points of view, I would also say, I'm saying a lot of things, but I would also suggest like destroying and create any expectations, any decisions, any judgments, any conclusions about that session or about that class. So you have no agenda about like fixing them, healing them, saving them and everything this brings up can be destroyed and created. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Daria, I'm going to do my first foundation in September. Yahoo! And sometimes sticking in the idea that nobody came to me because I didn't do it before. Help! I want to create something different. Well, there's a first time for everything. You're just a virgin. Going to get your cherry popped. <laughs> Have fun. Don't cry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so bad. <laughs> but... Like, how much fun can you have? And why, if, and if people would always go to people that have done it before, that person did it, like, there's the first time always. And if you don't buy into that, people can truly actually perceive your energy and your enthusiasm and your desire to create something different to, with them. But if you go like, well, you might not, you might not want to come to me because it's my first time. I might suck. <laughs> right? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. you. Do you have another question about that? No, no. Super. Okay. Yeah. And Katya has the same. My foundation was in March. Just have fun, guys. Nobody's going to die. That's a good thing. It's like, you know, no nuclear thing. Very, all good. You just have fun with it. When they ask the price, they find it too much. What is it I'm not getting? Um, what is it that you're not getting? If somebody says, okay, so cool. How many of you get that people might find you? some of the classes or the services too expensive and everywhere you feel you have to defend that can we please destroy and create it right wrong good bad all night bought talk shorts boys and everywhere then you go into no but you know the foundation class it's really four days and you know that after that you can do this and this and you start to like explain and justify the price is where you're gonna get less and less attractive it's the Fuck me because I have great boobs. Did you check my vagina thing? Everything this is, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, box, shorts, boys and beyonds. However, if you say, oh, is it too expensive? I'm so sorry that you can't afford it. That might create something. They're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I, I still have a week. Or, and you know, and you can say, oh, okay, that's too bad. Like, you know, why don't you ask some questions if you truly want to come? Ask the class to contribute to you. Ask, you know, ask your body to contribute to you to go to, to this class. You can give them some questions, but don't buy the lie that it's too expensive. I mean, seriously, is there any price you can put on any of these classes? What one class creates in the world and in your world is so huge. That doesn't match the numbers. <laughs> Alan says, I'm a live class virgin too. Well, this is a reunion then. <laughs> So this is really like if you don't have to justify or explain and you just say, okay, and play with it. Like say like, okay, I guess it's too expensive for you. Come back when, you, when it works for you. And it's similar, some of you might have with people with sessions. If people say like, oh, how much is your session? It's so expensive. Uh, or they say, oh, but I, I had a bar session for 50 bucks and yours is 60. You can just say, okay, then you should definitely go to the person who offered it for 50. This is the price that works for me. I've had it. Somebody was like, oh, but the other person said this price. I'm like, go there. You don't, like, you know, it's actually, then they're like, wait a minute, you're not defending yourself? Fuck. Now what do I do? 
like and say to them like hey i wouldn't want you to come if it doesn't work for you but this is the the price that works for me this is the price that where i'm honoring me and if that doesn't work for you please you know i'm sure there's somebody else that you can find where it will work for you have that space it's so attractive and it's so kind to everybody and everything that doesn't allow it can be destroyed and created. Right, wrong, good, bad, all name, but fuck shorts, boys, and beyonds. Elena, it's saying, it's hard to create money. I work, but I don't see money. In one situation, there's no internet. In another situation, something else. Maybe it's because envy or it's not my way. Um, this is not really a question. Can she ask a question, or he ask a question? Please? <laughs> cool afterwards it's virgin conversations um anybody else any question you guys go i'm wondering how how to get on that like slipstream of like you and other facilitators how you just have like classes on the go into the future because whenever i would like to plan classes like live and online stuff like i always would like to do it now because I guess I'm still looking at it as a source of income. So like planning, like putting, like planning a class from, for like for September now seems like such a long ways away. And like, what, how do you get into that like business approach and like slipstream sort of thing so that you don't have that, like, what do you do now? You know? Does I that mean, make sense? Yeah. I, I I think I get the energy of your question. The thing is that right now, whatever is up for you, if that's not September, but that's in a, two weeks, that's what's true for you. But then it's, it's not though, because it like doesn't... Match the like, energy? Classes don't create, yeah. But then I, I have a hard time like... I think I'm, I'm probably computing it still too much because I'm, I'm like, well, that's way too far away and I, you know, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah, cool. So one thing you can do is uh, ask the class when it desires to occur. Okay. Which is actually really simple. And then, like you said, okay, you're, and this is really cool, Alan. Like if you're aware, like, hey, I'm actually doing it to make some money right now. Like, you know, like, okay, destroy and create everywhere you're functioning from need. Ask, so everything that doesn't allow it, right and wrong, good and bad, walk and pod, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And Let's just add this question. Everywhere we have created situations in our life to motivate us to create classes for the money we need. Yeah. Instead of just choosing the classes you want to facilitate because it's so fucking fun. Why wouldn't you do it? We just right. try to create all that. Yeah. Thank you. Bad and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Everywhere you believe the lie that you need that motivation. Otherwise, you would never do it. Mm -hmm. Can we just try and create all that? <laughs> right wrong good bad all name but fuck shorts boys and beyonds and so really like what energy space and consciousness can you and your body be to be needless with your access business and everything that doesn't allow that pretty cool question actually can we just try and create it Thanks. i should write it down for myself <laughs> right wrong good bad all name but fuck shorts boys and beyonds i really think that the more we i've been really playing with the needless energy a lot the last year the more we are tapping into that space, the more we can truly choose because the need is a lie and the need is sticky and the need keeps us from total choice. Totally. Yeah. And also you like needing to become a CF and like needing to go to an SLP and like all that stuff. That is really prominent. Oh, boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boring. I should, mm -hmm. Like I would say if it's boring, like the boring thing is like boring can be an excuse to not step up. And boring can be what you're choosing to just do this reality. And everything this brings up, can we just join and create it, please? Thank you, Claudia. Right and wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So, okay, I have time. When can we do a bars class? Take a calendar, see what date pops. And that could be in two weeks and it could be in two months. And if you don't have a point of view about time and if you don't have a point of view about what is too far or too close, how much ease, joy, and glory could you have creating that class? Right. A lot more probably than where I'm doing it from now. Super. Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Welcome. And it's also like I would say the more we train our muscle to tap into the future, the more we can have choice, the more it's like, oh, it's actually really light in three months, but they're like, three months, I don't even know if I'm alive. No, that's too far. No, we don't do it. 
uh, versus, oh, that's when it's light, let's do it then. And what else de desire, and that can change, right? I'm sure all, some of you have experienced that something changes or something else pops up. Oh, but a bar class wants to occur in another city or I'm actually gonna do a bar swap. And you know, like allow yourself to play and let those creations speak to you. Like have fun you mean with it. No, yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Ah. And the, and the less needless you, the more needless you are, the more fun you can have. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That needless is. I would really, I mean, I invite all of you to play with the clearings around needless, like just simple. What energy, space and consciousness can I, my body be to be as needless as I can, as I truly be. We are infinite beings. We're not needy. We have made ourselves not infinite beings and we're making ourselves needy. Okay. And it's easier, I would say, it's easier to hear the whispers of your creations, of your business, when you're not in that, like, the earphones of need, need, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah? Awesome. Um, <laughs> okay, I have okay. a question. Yes, Claudia. Um, I seem to go in, in like a semicircle. It grows, it expands, and then all of a sudden it goes, and there's nothing left and I'm I'm in this this moment again where I've created classes they come to a fruition some haven't mm -hmm. and then uh, people who have made a commitment jump off they're not to be seen anymore and uh, I sometimes go into frustration Judgment is a great issue for me. Right? So, You're the only one, Claudia. You're the only I, one in this chat. I, I wear a crown of that. Can you see it? <laughs> so, Claudia, have you this? When you say like I'm going, and then Pim, yeah. What decisions have you made that you've reached your maximum? Holy moly! I never got to that one. And and it's. It's not, tr it's not true because okay. I know that that is just the, the starting off. So it's really where you want to say, where you want to destroy and create all your decisions about, you know, this is enough. Or if I go more than this, it's beyond and it's too much. And everywhere you're stopping because then others won't feel so bad about themselves. Everywhere you're stopping because otherwise won't, maybe will hate you less. Can we destroy and create all of that? Yes. Right, that online book, book shifts, boys and beyonds. Wow. There's still something else in that. And it's not, not that self-destructive thing. There's something else. And I'm not getting to it as if I'm maybe not allowing myself to be in the fun and the joy of it and just the creation of it and just see where it takes me. Maybe that's my question. <laughs> uh, what is with the self-destruction? where I use self-sabotage, distra distraction. Well, this, I, would, I honestly would say, like, where am I stopping and destroying myself because I've decided that I, uh, it's enough or where I'm aware of where others are thinking, now it's enough. Yeah. Where are you using your awareness against yourself? Instead of going, ha, 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 no way, Jose. You haven't seen anything yet. That's it. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Kinga says, how to kill others' limitations. I know somebody come to kill stupidity inside them, but I don't know how. I'm not this energy of kill. Is it necessary to start to be BF? You're cute and awesome, and I don't want to see your face. Where's your face? Kinga face. Where's Kinga's face? I want to see you. <laughs> anyway, you don't have to kill anybody's limitations. Why are you busy with their limitations? It's their job. If somebody wants to commit suicide, you don't have to go and kill them. They'll do it themselves. So where are you thinking that as a facilitator, you have to do things for others instead of just giving them the goods and then it's up to them? Everything this is, can we destroy and uncreate it? Where are you, Kinga? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, but pop shorts, boys and Leon. She's hiding behind her screen. Don't see her. Um, so... First of all, this, I would, you be the energy of what you have, whatever you be, be yourself. And in that desire to create greater, in that desire to go beyond limitations, what can you be that others can choose that? 
I would personally not be busy killing other people's limitation. You'll be busy like all the time. And it's not your job. You're not God, I think. Okay. And I'm not this energy of kill. Yeah. So what have you decided that you have to be that if you don't have to be it, you can relax and create like a motherfucker and everything. This is going to destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, but fuck shorts, boys, and beyonds. Daria says, what about the team? I don't, how, not to be pushy, but inspire others to create more. Hi to my team in this chat. <laughs> well, like, so there is a thing of where you want to, I mean, personally speaking, again, everybody has their own style, but where do you want to be clear? And I mean, I would say you want to be clear what is required. And you want to give them the space to do it their own way. And when you're aware, like, hey, then you want to jump in. Everywhere you don't want to be pushy is where you're going to probably become pushy. So let's destroy and create that. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, fuck, shorts, boys and beyonds. And truly, I believe uh, I have my dance company team that I have people that work with me. And then I have my access business team. And then I have all the different hosts. It's really for me, like I have to be present, but if I'm going to be like micromanaging everything, it's not fun for everybody and it can become pushy. But if I'm going to be like, oh, they're doing it. They're creating my class. I just have to turn up. I'm being delusional because it's my class and I have to be present. And that dance between being present and being like on it and giving space is really your own awareness. And that will be a muscle building as well. Okay. Cool. How to create money for classes, which I want to get. How to choose with ease. Well, ask those, ask the classes to contribute to you. Ask the universe to contribute to you. Ask all the contributive conscious entities uh, to contribute to you. And what creative money is just, hey, baby, money is just you turning on your creative capacities. What creative capacities can you turn on to create the money that you desire? And I know that many of you manage to create the money when it's for a class. Uh, and what if you can create money all the time and everything that doesn't allow this can be destroyed and created. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, but book shorts, boys, minutes. If you actually tap into the energy of that class and you already start receiving from that class, you will activate some, it will activate something in you that will create that money. But if you sit far from your class and the class is here, there, and you're here and you don't have the money and how am I going to do it? Then you're actually solidifying the non-class situation. Do you guys get what I mean? You're actually creating a distance where you're like, I have to do something to get it instead of I'm having it already. See, I'm going, I'm actually going already. And I, I just choosing for it. And often it is like I tap in, go to the access website and I say, register is like an energetic email to the universe to receive for that to activate the money and you know the babysitter or whatever it requires to be organized for you to come. So the less we go into separation, the more we go into receiving, the more we can receive also the money for that class. Yeah. Uh, Elena, I saw a comment in social media that massage costs $10 and bars cost much more bigger. Yes, it's true. Don't defend. Just say it's true. If you want a massage, go get a massage. If you want bars, come for bars. It's true. A, a Porsche costs more than a Volkswagen, than a Peugeot or something like this. Like, you know, it's like, don't have to defend it. Just say, because it's true if it's 10 bucks, but this is my price. Just don't waste energy on that, guys. Um, and in Access, you're only doing something on the head and you take such big money. I can't take money for sessions. And after that, comment something came up um don't put your foot in the shit of other people's poo poo just let them have their story and say you're right you shouldn't come for my session because i will do so much more than touch your head and it costs even more than what i'm asking for so if you don't want to come please don't come like really don't go into defending or reacting you should go for a bar you should definitely get a bar you should definitely get a massage in that case if you don't want to spend more than 10 bucks the more we are willing to have people choose what they choose, the more people will choose what, what is possible. The more we go into allowance and less into reaction, the more we can create and invite. And everything that doesn't allow this, can we destroy and create it? 
Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, what book, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Hey, see, Ruth, I love you. My massage costs 140 pounds. Don't come for me for a massage. I love you. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Cool. Any, any last questions? Anybody, anything? Um, I've got a question. Yes. Hi, Kalpana. Hey. Hi. Um, I noticed that I've been made wrong for how I communicate a lot. So I noticed that it's stopping me from even thinking of starting an excess bars business and receiving clients for sessions. So I was wondering how do I, um, yeah, what else is possible? So when you say I've been made wrong for the way I communicate, do you swear all the time? Like, no, it's more that, that it's my x man ability. So for example, I can take things literally or interpret things literally and that can cause like miscommunication with people. Are you using this as a reason and justification to not create your access business? Yes. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had a feeling I did. Yeah. Just destroy and create any reference points of all about all of that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And if you desire, the thing is that you don't have to have an access business just because you know bars or you, you know, like do it if it's fun for you. And if it's not fun for you, do something else. And it might change, it might become fun later or, you know, don't do it because you apparently that's what one does. You do a bars class and then you do three and then you must become a facilitator. And then just like Alan said, you must make money to do all the route to become a CEF because that's what one does. And even if you have no fucking desire to do it, you must do it because then you're a good access person. Can we destroy and uncreate all that? Yeah. <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, butt, buck, shorts, boys, and meals. Axes are tools that you can use in any aspect of your life. And if you want to facilitate it, go for it. Yes, but there's more space now, more possibilities. So awesome. thank you. And I mean, X-Men, holy fuck balls, how cool is that? You can tap into everybody's mind and brain and know what they don't even want to know. And instead of yeah, using know, against you, they'll use it for you. Yeah. And it's, then, not, it's not always appreciated. Well, there's a way to do it. If you're going to go tell people like, you know what? And they don't want to hear it. It's not appreciated. Are you willing to use They don't it? share until someone asks. Yeah, use yeah. it to your advantage, but don't like you know, don't let it stop you and don't use it against you. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, what do I truly desire? Do I truly desire to have an excess business, or do I truly desire something else using the tool? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Thank and you. There's, and there's really welcome. And there's really nothing right or wrong about any of it. It's just choice. And there's really nothing right or wrong about your access business, whatever that looks like. You, you know, how many people, how many, of, how many of us do judgment about how many people are in our class? That's fucking boring. <laughs> like, is it fun to judge that how many people are in your class? Sure, you would like more people. And some people don't want more people. Like, what if you are grateful what you're creating? And if you desire more people in your class, just keep asking for it, but don't judge what you have created because then, one, you're actually saying fuck you to all the people who did show up. Like, there's only four people. Well, those four people, let's be grateful for them. And what else can you create beyond this without having to judge this and everything that doesn't allow it? Can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, but book shorts, boys and beyonds. Uh, hi, says Radhika. You want to say more? Yes, go for it. Hi, so I'm a little afraid of um, taking clients apart from extended uh, friends and family members uh, because I work from home. Um, Do you think so that's not professional enough? Uh, yeah. Or do you want to not them to see your dirty kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so everything this brought up, will you destroy and uncreate it? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, what books, shorts, boys, meals. Do you feel uncomfortable inviting people into your house that you don't know? Yes. Will you destroy and uncreate all that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, what books, shorts, boys, meals. Where is it that you live? Uh, in an apartment. Like what country or city? Uh, in India. Okay. In, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 
so how many judgments do people have if you would be inviting people to your house that you don't know? Oh, okay. What is she doing? Is she a prostitute? There are all these people coming to her, ha- to her apartment when her husband is working. Everything, this is going to destroy and create it. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pork, shorts, boys and beyonds. I mean, if this is easy for you, if you have a life where it's actually like, hey, cool, I have two hours, I can do sessions then, do it. Like, make it work for you. Like, you know, find a way. And if you notice, like, I'm actually really so not interested to have people in my house because then I have to clean my kitchen and then they can see like, ah, then find something else, but make it your choice. Don't make it a reaction. Do you know what I mean? Yep. If you do it because others don't like it or you don't do it because others might think something, then you're not choosing. You're just defending. Okay. So what energy, space, and consciousness can you and your body be that all these people find you and then you can choose how you invite them to us. You go rent a space or you do it at home. You don't have to limit it just with friends who know you because of your, um, of the venue. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Right. Wrong. Good. Bad. All night. Yes. Cool. Anybody else? Or shall we? call it quits. It's nine. Last question. I made the choice really different than six months ago for me, my business. And I know that some of them disturb my husband. My question is when it is light for me is okay. I have the impression that I have to choose between my husband, I guess, between my husband and my choice. Um, oh, between my husband and my business. Yeah, it is a conclusion. What will create the greatest? If I choose this, how will our lives be in 10 years, 50 years, hundred years, 500 years? And everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, no be able to see that way, destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pop, pop, shorts, boys and girls. And what I have, what I get works a lot is when you actually say, honey, I know you're going to get fucking pissed off that I'm going to do a class again, but I'm going to do a class again. And you just put the judgment on the table. Because then they're like, no, I'm not pissed off, but I am, but I'm not. And then you kind of open up the game already. And you don't have anything to defend. A lot of times then we're like, well, you don't understand how amazing it is. And you just don't get it. And then he has to defend himself. And then, yeah. But if you say, I know you're going to hate me for going to a class again, but I love you, but I'm going to go to the class. Then it's already a whole different energy. Yeah. And really ask. And sometimes it will be doing something different than you think that will create more for your business. It might be, you know, doing something else. And it might be. So if you ask the question for the future involving for all of us, then you will choose from a whole different space and you really don't have to choose between your husband and your business in terms of the one doesn't exclude the other there might be a moment that you are changing so much and your husband is like dude i'm not interested in that change or what often also occurs is like holy shit this is so cool hold on i'm coming so what invitation can you be for him to join you on this ride in his way? He doesn't have to do any. I was delusional a few years ago where I thought my husband had to come and do all the classes with me. Woohoo, fantasy land. And now he receives it in his own way and he has choice and he actually wants to come to a class sometimes, but it only works as I don't have to. He doesn't have to anything. Does that help? Cool. And everywhere we have learned that if we have two great things, we can only have one. Otherwise, it's not fair. We have too many nice things going on. We destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, all name, pop, pop, shorts, boys, and the youngs. Cool, silly. Okay? Okay, my loves. Hello. You all go. Last one, last one. Woo! Last one. Okay, go. Last one. Um, I'm working from home, but I've got the issue of if clients come to me then i quickly need to clean the house and be ready so if somebody needs to phone me i need to oh okay now i need to do this so i need to be prepared the whole time but i'm not i mean or you don't give a fuck and your house is just messy <laughs> yeah. or you clean your house yeah but it's never spotless i mean well we, we, no it? but even if you rent a place is it going to be spotless yeah but that's uh, it's different because we've got a small so place. Your, so what is your question then? I'm not ready the whole time to receive clients. Do you want to receive clients the whole time? Yes. Then be ready. 
yeah, if you, if you don't, it, like I'm super not interested to have clients all the time because I'm never home. And when I'm home, I'd like to relax. So I don't have, but if I do, if, so just add, like, if that's what you desire, something has to change. If you don't desire that, there is no problem. It's truly, really very pragmatic. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. And, and then um, I didn't register for the call, but I could join um, halfway. So will I, <laughs> so, <laughs> but I could join halfway. So can I still re get a recording somehow? How sign does up. that work? Please sign up and then you will get the recording automatically. Okay. I'll get yeah. the link from somebody to sign yeah. up with. Yeah. Sandra at kapnaragurama.com. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me and for your awesome questions. What energy, space, and consciousness can we and our bodies and our businesses be to create greater with total ease? And everything that doesn't allow it, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, but book shorts, boys and meals. And what energy, space, and consciousness can we and our bodies be for all of our classes and all of our activities to flourish and blossom with total ease, joy, and glory? And everything that doesn't allow it, can we destroy and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, but book shorts, boys and meals. And what energy, space, and consciousness can we in our bodies and our businesses be for all access consciousness to be the most valuable product in this reality? And everything that doesn't allow it, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, but book shorts, boys and beyonds. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful afternoon, evening, morning. And thank you for joining us. I hope it was. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.